Hello everyone, today we will cover how to disable telemetry and privacy settings on Windows 11. If you had any privacy concerns about Windows 11, then don't worry because Microsoft will gladly collect all your personal data if you let it. If not, let's see how to make Windows 11 more private. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Windows 11 content. First, let's start with Contana. From the task manager, go to startup, then disable Contana from running at system startup. Now open settings, go to apps, apps and features, search for Contana, click on the three dots, then click on advanced options. From here you can prevent Contana from having the permission to use your microphone from running in the background and in system startup you also have the options to terminate repair and and reset this app but to remove it you must do it from the registry editor next let's disable those annoying notifications from system settings click on notifications first disable these two annoying options suggestions and tips from microsoft if you don't mind notifications but you only want to disable the sound you can disable this option and of course if there are any apps that you want to disable notifications from you can disable them from here but of course you can disable all notifications or you can customize focus assist settings to only see notifications from priority apps next let's have a look at our beloved privacy and security section in find my device you can disable this option which let microsoft make it easier to collect your location in general these set options allow microsoft to show you personalized ads and let websites show locally relevant content so i recommend you disable all these options in speech this option let microsoft collect your audio to develop their technologies, set it to off, and the same for inking and typing, which let Microsoft collect your typing in diagnostics and feedback, disable all these options in delete diagnostic data, you can delete your data from here, and in feedback frequency, set it to never, in activity history, Disable these options which let Microsoft store your activity history on this device and you can clear your activity history as well. In app permissions, simply disable the ones that you don't need. For example, location. I don't want Microsoft apps to use my location, so I disable these options. In camera, I don't use camera, so I disable this option. For microphone, I use my microphone with Camtasia and OBS, but I don't need the camera app Contana or Microsoft Store to have access to my microphone, so disable it on the apps that you don't use. And the same for all other apps, disable the ones that you don't need and you don't use. So go over them one by one and only keep the ones that you need enabled. Next, I highly suggest that you create a local account. From settings, go to accounts. From here, you can create your local account. I made a full tutorial on how to create a, a local account in Windows 11. The link will be in the description. This is a, an essential step because microsoft always suggests that you use a microsoft account on anything which will make it easier for them to collect and connect your data you should also use a private web browser from apps default apps you can change your web browser from edge to something more private edge is a great browser but it's of course it's not the most private for more information, you can watch my video on how to change your default web browser in Windows 11. And for some suggestions for a great private web browser, you can watch my video about the best private web browsers for Windows. 
The next step is to remove and disable unnecessary apps and services from Microsoft. First, from the taskbar, you can click on taskbar settings and you can disable Microsoft apps like task view, widgets and chat if you don't use them. And if you want to disable those annoying recommended apps in the start menu, you can do that from personalize and start. You can disable these two options and from apps, apps and features, you can remove the apps that you don't use. Any app that you really don't need, you can click on uninstall and remove it from your device. And of course, there are apps that will be running in the background like Contana. So you should go to advanced options and prevent them from running in the background if you don't need them. This will speed up your operating system and make it more private. There are other privacy settings like clipboard. This is a useful tool to save anything you copy online. If you don't use it, you should turn it off and clear the data from apps, apps and features. You can select where to get apps and limit the source to Microsoft Store. For example, if you are not the only one using the computer from system power, you can select the power mode to best performance and from Microsoft Store. You can disable the autoplay option to prevent videos from running automatically. If you were looking for a tool that will make things easier for you, you can try ShutUp10. It's anti-spy tool and they have a version for Windows 11. And what's great about this tool is that there is a portable version so no installation is required. You can open it and disable all the options that you don't need and quickly make your Windows 11 system more private. And don't forget to use a powerful antivirus or anti-malware software. Windows Defender is not bad, it's, but it's not powerful enough. I suggest you use an app like Malwarebytes, which is one of the most powerful anti-malware and anti-ransomware apps out there. And to search the web more privately, you can check my videos about the best private search engines, web browsers, both for Windows and Android. I also covered some powerful privacy extensions for Chrome and Firefox users. Now there are other powerful tools out there that will make Windows even more private than we covered today. But those tools make permanent changes to your operating system. And those permanent changes could be a problem if there is an app that you don't want to use but you can't use it anymore. Especially if you don't know how the, exactly the tool works. I really hope that you find this tutorial useful. For more Windows 11 content you can check my playlist. Again all the links will be in the description. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more useful tutorials. Until next time. Bye.